thank you for tuning in again to the CJ Nerf channel. Up today is the Nerf Fortnite ARL Motorized Dart Blaster review. The Nerf Fortnite ARL can currently be found on Amazon.com for the price tag of $46.88. That's US dollars. There will be a buy link in the description if you are interested. For that price, this is what you're going to get. The blaster itself. 20 blue with purple head elite darts and a 10 round flared magazine. Keep in mind this blaster does require four AA batteries which are not included, but we have some brand new ones we're gonna put in here to go ahead and test. Special features of the Nerf Fortnite ARL. The stock is actually fixed. It does not come off. You cannot actually replace it with other stocks that you may currently own, as well as the barrel. The barrel is fixed and it actually cannot be swapped out for other barrels. It does have two pop-up sights, one here and one here, which flip up quite easily. If you're not into those, you can always put your own sight up here on the tactical rail, like such. Personally, I'm glad I got this one. It's pretty rare, and actually it looks fantastic on this blaster itself. Right here is located the magazine release button, the trigger, and the rev switch. The grip is a little bit small in visual, but it actually fits my hand. I have a medium to large hand, and it actually is quite comfortable. Um, if you have very large hands, that actually might be a little bit of a problem for you. I like the flared shell. It gives it that cartoonish feel, just like the SPL pistol. Now, moving to the other side of the blaster. As you can see, they only painted one side, but located right here is the jam door in case you get a jam. And the second thing is here is your battery door to put your four AA batteries in. Aesthetically, I love the way this blaster looks. I love the way it feels. It's very comfortable. Here's a couple things compatibility wise with magazines you're gonna wanna know. So for those of you that are new to flywheel blasters, all you need to do to simply fire it is load your magazine, load it into the AR, hold the rev trigger, and then fire. Okay? One of the things I like about the ARL is that it is compatible with the 20 round Busby magazine. So if you want to keep that yellow theme going, hey guys, just slap it right in and you're good to go. Rev it up and go ahead and fire. Here's one thing you are going to want to realize though. Taking the gray Busby darts. I found this pretty interesting, right? Let's go ahead and put it up in there. Now let's rev it. Guys, I can't pull the trigger. For some reason, something with this magazine inside does not allow me to pull the trigger. So just keep in mind that your 10 round Busby magazines gray are not gonna work. Your 20s, no problem. The other thing I like about this particular magazine, guys, it doubles as a stand. How cool is that? So my friends, let's have some fun with the ARL outside, max range, max effective range, 50 feet to the fence, 80 feet to the end of the driveway. Of course, we're gonna do this in time lapse, come back in real time, show you the results. All right, guys, we shot Accu Strike Darts for max effective range. Fences 50, they mostly bounced at about 45 and bounced a little bit forward. So I'll say 45 to 50 feet for max effective range. And that's with AccuStrike darts. Now let's move on to the max range. All right, guys, this was actually impressive. Check out these elite dart ranges. 75 to as much as 80 feet. I even had one that's at about 85, almost 90 feet that made it out into the street. So overall, I tell you what, I'm kind of loving this ARL. I like the comfort of it. I like the power. I like the aesthetics. This is pretty cool. Wow, those max ranges on the Elite Darts actually shocked me on that outdoor course. Um, what do you guys think about this blaster? The aesthetics, the performance so far? Um, I'm curious to know. Leave your comment in the comment section and share your opinion. And guys, if you guys want to see the other Fortnite pistol that I recently did a review on, the SPL, Click that card pop in the upper right hand corner of your screen. It's going to take you to that video. Right indoors, we're going to fire 10 Elite and 10 Accu Strike darts to check out the accuracy. We're going to zoom the camera in so you get a better view. Let's begin.
friends, that gives you all the information that you need to make an educated buying decision on this semi-automatic flywheel battery powered blaster. As far as younger nerfers go, my son at four and a half has not mastered the rev and trigger combination thing yet with his fingers and coordination. So if you have a nerfer that's under nerf's recommended age of eight plus, I would probably overlook this one and only for that reason. It's the blaster is actually pretty cool. I like it. It's just that it's a combo thing with the coordination, but they'll grow into it. Now, as far as my personal opinion, I'm digging it. I kind of like this blaster. I like the shell. I like it's comfortable. It's light. It's balanced. I like the flared magazine that doubles as a stand. I like the pop-up sights. They gave you a tactical rail if that's what you're kind of into doing. I kind of like the way this one looks on it. And overall, I got to say, out of two Fortnite blasters that I've actually reviewed, I can't hate on the series. I'm kind of liking this one, and I like the pistol portion of the other one. And um, that's about all I got left to say. So hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Sunday. See you guys on the next video. I'm out.